the master version of the Vow of the Disciple raid is here, with Adept raid weapons being the ultimate reward, the only way you will be able to get one is by completing that week's relevant raid challenge in the master version and will give you further chances at getting the red deep sight resonance versions and also go towards completing the Disciple Slayer raid title. Once you have unlocked an adept weapon, you will be able to purchase further versions from the raid cache using spores after beating the final boss. Now let's get into a refresher on what the raid challenges are and how to best complete them so that you can get some easy adept raid loot, timestamps will be below for you to skip to the relevant encounter if you wish. The first challenge available when the master vow of the disciple starts will be the acquisition challenge swift destruction. This one is simple but will require coordination, you need to simply defeat the unstoppable champions within 5 seconds of each other. There's three that will spawn in during each round and the usual method is just to keep stunning them until the end of each round, at which point you can then coordinate with your team to stun them and nuke them. If you are the defender for your obelisk then this is your job, so make sure your ad control is on point so that you can manage the unstoppable champion in your area. By doing it this way it means that you only need to do this during the first two rounds because after inputting the third set of codes all enemies will despawn including the champions. The next challenge rotation will be the caretakers challenge base information. This is during the caretaker boss fight and requires the runners who collect the symbols for the obelisk to only collect one symbol each time. This is a slower method than you'd be used to if you were running normal mode, but simply enter the room and once you've collected just one symbol, exit the room via one of the doors. Then shoot the relevant symbol you've collected on the obelisk to successfully enter your symbol. You can use the same two or three runners for this on each floor, just be mindful to watch out for the adds and holes in the floor along with the stacks of pervading darkness which increase if you spend too much time in the room. As long as you don't take too long to collect the symbols, this should be straightforward to complete at master level 2. Now we're on to the exhibition challenge, defence is down. This is by far going to be the hardest challenge to complete on master mode, not because the challenge is difficult, but because the encounter is a huge pain in the ass. The disciples hourglass knights are key to this challenge and this requires each player on your fire team to defeat one. There's 7 knights in total spread around the encounter, with 1 in the first phase and 2 knights in each of the next 3 phases. That means that you need to leave 1 alive at some point. You'll need to use the laser relic to defeat these knights and the first knight spawns in at the start of the encounter, so that's 1 of the 6 beaten easily. In the next phase 2 knights will spawn, so whoever picks up the relic in this phase needs to only defeat the first knight that spawns in. By leaving the second knight alive in this area, you'll still be able to progress and won't fail the challenge. Now simply progress through the rest of the encounter as normal, making sure to switch the laser relic between players in each phase so that you only ever defeat one knight. If you're not required to handle a relic, make sure that your ad clear duties are up to scratch and use your super for any squeaky bum time moments. The last challenge rotation is the Dominion challenge, Looping Catalyst. If you've been doing the Vow of the Disciple for any amount of time, this is likely how you've ran the Rahulk boss fight anyway, but the challenge simply requires you to not lose the Leeching Force buff. This buff is obtained by having one player stand on the plate at the front of the encounter and then shooting the left crystal summoned by Rahulk. Then get two players to shoot the left or right crystal each for them to take the leeching buff from you. One of these players will then need to jump into the beam that shoots down one of the lanes in order to get the emanating force buff in preparation to dunk in the correct pillar as called out by your teammate who is reading the symbols. The other player who got the leeching buff then needs to avoid the beam and step onto the plate ready to repeat the process and pass the leeching force buff on again as before but this time to the second dunker. Rinse and repeat until it's time for the boss damage phase, nothing has changed too much mechanics wise for DPS so the same strategies will still apply, however master level may be a bit tougher but the normal kings of DPS will still do bits. That's all 4 of the Vow of the Disciple raid challenges summed up in a nutshell for you and hopefully this will help you and your team grab some sweet adept loot. We're the place for builds in 3 minutes or less, respecting your time whilst giving you everything that you need. This build right here is just one of them and if you've got a hunter in your life then this one is for you.